Hey guys, this is Awesome Caesar. He brought his mother in two years ago for trigeminal neuralgia jaw problem, but he's here for shoulder pain, migraines, and he can't hear out of his left ear, ringing in his ears, sciatica, can't sleep at night. His wife is Sarah, and you'll see her in the next video. We did some tests on him. We see his shoulders hurting in mostly internal rotation right down here. We took some x-rays, saw the problem, got him treated, and I think he's gonna be happy. You just cracked my potato chip. I'm with Caesar, and he had a cameo with his mother a couple years ago. She had trigeminal neuralgia. Check out her video. Trigeminal neuralgia interface. Um, pain for the last seven years. Pues recomiendo a toda la gente que mire ese video, verdad? Que pues yo pasé por dolores fuertes y si ven ese video, venga con el doctor, verdad? Él los va a curar. Tell us how she's doing. Two years later, almost. Yeah, she's actually doing a lot better now as far as her trigeminal neuralgia. Every now and then, she'll get her um, her uh, little moments but remember nothing. how bad it was back then yeah yeah it was, she was a lot of pain yeah, yeah it was to the point where she couldn't brush her teeth she couldn't laugh uh when she would talk like we'll be in the middle of the sentence and she had to stop because uh yeah. she'll have that so it's to this day it's still a lot better yeah be at 13 years old he threw his shoulder out mm -hmm. and he was like my 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 shoulder hurts get back to work a uh, shoulder problem you have shoulder pain right yeah and so we have history of headaches too right with you uh migraines, migraines yes. right it's a couple mm -hmm. times a week two or three times a week mm -hmm. uh also ringing the ear every freaking day yeah Good. Constant. Constant. And that's been going on for about a year and a half, he says. The interesting part, he has sciatica, left sciatica too, mm -hmm. and his right shoulder freaking hurts. That's why he's here. He can't hear out of his left ear. Yeah. I and so he's it. lost hearing. And so, so young. Any reason for that? Uh, he used to be in a rock band. But we're going to see what we can do for him. Ten years, a long time. All right. Tension, pain at all? No. Nothing? Stand up. But as I'm coming up, it feels like a five. Five, five. five. Gotcha. Yeah. Got Go back like this. How about that? No. And then when you come and up, uh, when they come up, same thing. Uh, I feel like a pull, like a two. Not as, not that bad. Gotcha, fair enough. So going down is worse. Correct. Okay, look at the floor with your neck. Okay. How about that? Anything there? No. Go look at the ceiling. How about that? No. Okay. Now his right shoulder is the issues here. He says it can be a 10 out of 10 pain multiple times a week, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Please. Okay. Any pain in your shoulder right there? No, sir. Gotcha. Put it behind your back. Okay. Yeah. And right there hurts. Yeah. Gotcha. It's uh, six. Uh, more on this side. Okay, how much less over here? 50%, 25%? Mm, not that much, I think like 20, 25. Okay. This way, this way, this way. Mm. Good. Oh, wow. What was that like, dude? I heard a lot of crack. Yeah, you heard a lot of crack? <laughs> you did a lot of crack there. That's my brother, but yeah. Oh, you have a brother? <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Shout out to you, dude. Uh. <laughs> Ooh. And that's uh, right where that thing is all screwed up the most. Good. Oh, and guess what I did? I pushed right through. Shoot. Feels better. Okay, helping Caesar up here. A little off balance. Uh, I bet he's a little dizzy after this one, but we're reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. Let's check in and see how he's doing. Just a little bit dizzy. Okay, a little recalibration down the hall. Let's see how he's doing now. And we're going to go through his range of motion, see what you feel. Go ahead and bend over, please. Okay, coming up. No. That was a five a minute ago. Yeah. Coming up. No. Huh? Back like this. Uh, I feel more limber. You do? Yeah. Oh, more, like, more like a loose. <laughs> um, neck down. And neck up. You didn't have any pain there, right? No. Shoulder up. That's way better. But behind your back now. That was a five. Can I try it again? Fuck, do it again, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, like a two. Why are why, you why, uh, why, no, why just... doing me like that? What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, that's like 15 years right there, just gone in a snap. Okay. Sorry, I just had a. It's different, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. See, there's no it's, answer it's, means it's hard. To, yeah, it's hard to tell the difference. Oh. He doesn't want to. Yeah, admit. it's it's very very light of anything. So what do you mean very light? You can't hear, or you always hear the same now. Oh. Uh, he, he doesn't want to say. It. <laughs> Spit that shit out. <laughs> um. So it's very common. From twenty percent, it probably went down to like maybe a five percent, if that. So I brought your hearing back. Yeah. How many years? Something for that? Yeah, it's kind of on and off. Like a 
10 years? Yeah. So she knows the answers. 11, 12? <laughs> uh, since Monday, it's like 30, 30%. Gotcha, 30% better. Two more towards me. Yeah. Uh, pretty great, man. Uh, honestly, uh, just other than this, like a headache, it almost feels like a migraine, but it's not as strong as a, like a migraine would be. Or gotcha. might normal, normal would be. So Caesar's problem again is that he's uh, he's worried about her. Yeah. Pretty much. He's worried about her because she was really, really having a rough time. And so yeah. he followed her around and made sure she did it exactly right. And it's right. hard because he has to make sure I don't fall. Exactly. And, and I told yeah. her just let her go. Just let her go and just go walk until you feel the edge of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about this wonderful, delicious sleep you had. Oh, we oh literally just came back from what, like in a 45 minutes sleep? Almost like in the no, nap in the car. over an hour nap. Yeah. Dude, that was the best night. I have insomnia. I only slept two hours last night. I went to sleep at five in the morning and woke oh, up yeah. at seven. I don't say after every adjustment, I always get really sleepy. So like on the way home, I'm just like kind of like falling asleep. Yeah, but you slept really good, right? Yeah, yeah. Very. Okay, so that tells me that we're on the right track. So very, that's a good thing. Good. So pretty much like how I was telling Dr. Thayer is that uh, with my first chiropractor, I literally just walked in and my dude was at a garage. <laughs> So, <laughs> I walked left, in, that out. yeah, and the people want to know, okay. So, <laughs> he just literally just snapped me. So, I'm better than a garage guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Worst part is he charged full price, so. Yes, that's what I said. And, yeah, literally, uh, I still felt the same after that chiropractic, and he was bragging about how good he was and everything, and so, you know, I tried it out, didn't but work out. the time out. we spend here is how much compared to that? Oh, it, yeah, it doesn't even touch it. Yeah. At all. Okay guys, we're off to see the x-rays. These long format videos were a thing I was doing for a while there, and I hope you guys are enjoying it. So, off to see the wizard. Uh, this pink line is the middle of his body right here. You can see how his head is right of center, 6.46 millimeters. Uh, that's the first leverage point of his body. You can also see how this arrow is pointing to his left jaw, and so his jaw on his left side is out. We call that TMJ sometimes. And that importance is that grinding or clinching of your jaw because of this pressure can cause the neck to be out. So that is also important. Uh, this arrow points to which side your head is leaning. And so you see it's to the right and your shoulders to the right. So your whole body is essentially leaning to the right like this. So low back, look at this. Pretty freaking straight, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, left, short, left hip is a tiny bit lower, but pretty straight. All pretty square here. So why does he have pain? because it's, it's in balance, it's not about the it's spine. <laughs> so uh, a little bit of constipation here, not a big deal. Um, definitely some gas in here. Uh, these two arrows point because he uh, tends to walk on his toes more. And so uh, we gotta get his balance better. No arthritis because he's pretty young. The neck should look like this yellow line, okay? And you can see how it doesn't have a curve. The problem with him is the curve goes the wrong way really high. We call it a high reversal in this office. So high reversal means there's more angle up here to go the opposite way, which pushes the atlas out of the position. The atlas should be angled at this position, more steep, and yours is horizontal. Okay. Because this is a high reversal, and I put both arrows here to show how important this is, uh, this whole bottom side is ground away. So this should be straight, and it's not. You can see how it looks like a potato chip. And so, uh, and this is supposed to be round back here. So this bone, C2, has worn off the entire bottom of atlas right here. And so why is that important? The more this bone gets worn off, the more I know that your bone is pushed against that bone, which causes torquing of the bone on the brainstem. So the more it, the more it torques, the more it just pokes at your brainstem. Okay. And that poking makes you have terrible posture. Mm -hmm. Okay. So by correcting this curve, by adjusting this properly, by changing the structure of the spine, it allows the atlas to fall into the slot, I call it. And that is gonna help you tremendously. Now the interesting thing about you, I'm gonna blow this up for you guys. See how this is um, uh, larger, larger diameter, I mean a uh, larger picture? See how this is smooth under here? Smooth? Mm -hmm. Look, there's a little bit of whoop to do it here. There's something wrong with this joint right here. And you can see how it's smooth down here. Smooth. I, 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 don't, I wouldn't call it broken, but there's just some crap in there. Something going on. I'm going to say it's probably just um, spinal related, just the twisting of the spine somehow. But it is definitely interesting. If you look at all these, it looks pretty good until this particular one right here. And again, it's the high reversal. So there's some damage in here. You did something to kind of mess it up years ago. Okay, back to room two to compare his spine to our arthritis chart and to get him treated one last time this week. Okay, so this is how the spine should be, <laughs> the neck. See the curve right here? So uh, Elizabeth's gonna take you back. You can take pictures of your x-rays. You can take it back to the, you know, home and take a look at it later. Okay. But you're gonna compare this against yours. Right. Okay, so the curve is necessary here. 
to bring the Atlas down to the slot I told you about, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can see how yours is like a chili dip or like a potato chip. <laughs> and so see how round this is back here? Right. Yours is all ground away. So that's the thing I was showing you, okay? Yeah. Mm. You just cracked my potato chip. <laughs> Why did that sound pretty? Mm. Excellent. <laughs>